Hi everyone, welcome back to my channels and my favorite segment. Today's a little different. I am breaking it down my nine to 12 months favorite items from toys to clothes. And I've got this little one, my daughter Kalia joining us. So I'm gonna show you some of her favorite toys in that nine to 12 month segment. But also I wanna show you Callie interacting with them and how they should be used. Callie is older than nine to 12 months now. And one of the great things I love is that the toys and items we're gonna show you can grow with your child. And so I'm gonna show you how you can take a toy that might be for that nine month year old and how four months later they can still use it, but in other ways and to help them with other skills. Right? Right? Mwah. And she is on the go. So <laughs> we're gonna see how this is gonna go, right? this is not a hood and when you look at items you're trying to see if they will catch your child's attention span but also help them get to that next developmental milestone first we're gonna show you our t-toy alphabet set and their alphabet cards Ooh, you see I already got her attention and what I love about them is she's gonna try to eat everything and the material is so durable. Look here, and it's also helping her with letters, animals on one side. We also show her the colors. All right, let's see, let's find one. Okay, see, A, and we'll do a sign with it. A is for ant. Look, Callie, is that an ant? And she eats it. <laughs> I told y'all but what's nice is like we have certain books and other toys that are cards that she will maybe try to eat one side of it and after two times through like they're done like you can't use them anymore and so with this one she can and she loves it and we'll also go with hey the a is green green and do a sign with it so this is something that she's had for a while and we're trying to go through the alphabet, colors, animals, everything, and it has it all in one. And what I love is that it comes in this little set. As you know, toys can be all over the place and it just, just keeps it all together. They snap together and I'll leave a link below, but these are great alphabet cards. Y'all, at this stage, books are key. We love books and Callie has her favorites and Chicka Chicka Boom Boom is one of them. Also, it's helping with understanding the alphabet because it's all about your ABCs and it has a fun little script to it, right? A told B and B told C, I'll meet you at the top of the coconut tree. Can you turn the page? Oh, good job. So yeah, we work on turn pages as you see it's their ABCs and it's a fun little sing-along song that goes with it and it's it's really simple at this stage pick a book and read it to them multiple times this is in our daily nightly rotation and so what's great is that it's helping with repetition and that's something that we were told from our speech therapist is that you know kids need to see books over and over for it to really resonate for them and at the very end it shows you all the letters so we'll go through and we'll do the letters and we'll sign them you see a b c d e yeah and there's a full set of the chicka chicka boom boom but this is just one that we love so much okay we gotta go through these fast because I don't know how long my little one is gonna hang in here for. All right, this carrot set, this is a, oh, what are you grabbing? Here you go. This is something that we use just to work on her pincer grasp and you can choose any type of like item you want. We just chose carrots because Kalia loves bunnies and so we kind of associate together. But what's great is at the nine months, all she was doing is working on grabbing them with her fingers. So, like so. Now, as you see, they're all different sizes. And now she's starting to understand where they go, how we put toys back and put items back. And so it's helping us kind of explain to her cleaning up and also recognition of size. So this one obviously is a lot bigger than this guy. So she's starting to put things back. And that's how this toy can grow with you. 
from the nine months to just grabbing and working on that thumb and pointer finger to understanding where they go. All right, sweetie. You gonna cooperate? Yeah. Okay, so let's go into clothes. Kalia started to like walk in her walker around nine, 10 months and we have hardwood floors. And so we wanted to find socks that had the grips on them. And this is a set that we really love. They come in all different colors. So they go with all of her outfits, but they have great little grippies and they've been working really well. Sometimes we let her walk barefoot and then sometimes we put the grippies on. Okay, I'm gonna let her sit over here. Cause she is skinny. All excited. You wanna sit right here? Ooh, what's this? You wanna sit and play with this toy? Good job. Okay, so she's in the back and we're gonna go through some of our other ones. So this set, this is a pajama set. It's the Lamaz brand. It's organic cotton, it's so soft. I love it. This is a nine month set and it's a snug fit. I love that they have great little like patterns with lemon, strawberries, watermelon, a little bit of everything, but it's so comfortable. And this has been one of our go-to brands for Clea when it comes to pajamas. And we love pajamas. Right, boo? And then you might see her in the back playing with this little stander. So. Kalia wasn't like using this to stand and walk early on and we've been incorporating lately. But what I love is that in the front, it has, it's a Fisher Price. We love Fisher Price, but it has different items that she can play and sit and play. And it really does grab her attention. So I'm gonna turn it on. But you have your letters. So you have your colors and your numbers down here. The ball and there's different levels. So it recites the alphabet. And this is something that definitely your kiddo can grow with if they're not at the stage where they're walking independently or standing. They can use this to just sit and play and then over time grow into using as a stander and a walker. Let's pause for a second. You need a section. And we are back. We had to take a quick section break. This is just real life kind of things with a medical needs child. So had to give her a section and here she is playing with one of our new and favorite toys. We've always been a big fan of the Lovery brand. We have their um, play gym set, but we just started the subscription and we have the nine to 12 month subscription box. You guys have to get into it. I'm gonna leave a link below of ways that you can purchase your own kit. But what I love is that here I am showing you all these different toys and within this box, it's a nine to 12 month box. It has all the toys that your child will need for those key developmental stages. And it's working on all the things you wanna work on for that stage. So for instance, this was in the box and this is just another way of that pincer grass toy. And I love that they're all like wooden and durable kind of toys because you know me, as I've been telling you before, the kids are gonna like teeth on all the toys. And so you wanna make sure that they're gonna last and they're high quality and Lovery brand is for sure high quality. So this is one, like I told you before, working on getting Callie to put things in the proper spot. So here's one part. So getting her just to do that, we talk about the colors and then the nice little part is that she's still working on the cause and effect. We pull this, or we push it in, sorry, push it in, and they all drop down below. So that's one she likes. This is also another part of it, this heavy ball. Where does it go? You wanna hold on to it? Can you drop this one? Here you go, here's the ball. Oh, you see, she's got her favorites. But this whole um, hide and seek kind of aspect of it, we put the ball in here and where'd it go? And having to reach in and grab it and find it. And so what's great is that there's this booklet and this shows you the play guide, all the ways that you can use this play kit and all the toys that are in the kit. 
okay? And I just love, it takes the work out of trying to figure out how to take your kid to the next level and how to use toys. No, oh, and it just shows you. And what I love is that it shows you like what the things that your baby should be working on for each age group. So the 12 months versus 11 months. And Callie in action. She loves the bang items, but I, I I just love that aspect of it that I get to see the conceptual play and how I'm supposed to be using the toys and how he, even months later this kit is still being used. So we started to do more food by mouth around nine months for Callie. She has a G tube, so it wasn't something that we could do super early on, but just allowing her to eat different foods. And one thing that we noticed was trying out different spoons. So we first went with this one. It's short, it's got a thicker handle. We thought she would love this one. Nope, you see she loves this one. So this it has the long skinny handle and it was better for her and gave her more independence when it came to eating. Here you go. One of the other toys we're gonna show you is this word book. So I love it. It's Learning Friends. It's a leapfrog book. It's the first hundred words for your kiddo. And it's touch screen. So you can do English or Spanish. Hola, amigo. Oh. Una exactly. Or touch. And it's all touch. So Fish. and there's different pages. So there's pets and animals. There are fruits and food. And clothes so it, it's a great because it gives your child that visual as well as saying the word and also if there is like the monkey it makes a sound as well so just association and word recognition is something that we're really working on and it gives her the independence to pick whichever she wants As I mentioned before, we have hardwood floors and we need the grippy socks for this walker, the Colt Fort Walker. And what I love about it is that it has these toys up on top that really intrigued Callie first off and got her to play and just actually like to be in it. But it also transitions to a stander and a pusher. And it has a little buckle in the seat that can raise and lift depending on her height. So this is one of our simple and go-to walkers. And the last toy I'm gonna show you is a cause and effect toy. I like to take each segment and have an advanced toy. One that's a little bit harder for her to get to grasp of and it's gonna take repetition and work. And that would be this one, okay? So at nine to 12 months, this was a lot for Callie. And now that she's about 15 months, she's starting to really grasp the concept but I like to challenge her and put things in front of her that really go into problem solving. And so each segment, you're gonna see one that's like, uh, is that for that age group? No. So that's what this one is. Cause and effect, and what I love, you know, push. We're working on all of those. And she's just now at a point where before she really got the push, the button, she slap it. And now she's understanding how to close and she's also understanding the animals. So the, yeah, 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 she's she's behind me, like, give me my toy. Okay, girl, here you go. Good job. Good job. So as you see, She's getting the hang of it. She's able to do some of the hard tasks as swipe and turn and close it. And so that is something, be patient with your kids, but also provide them some challenges. So I hope you enjoyed this segment of nine to 12 months favorites. I'll be back with my 13 to 15 months favorites. And below you'll see an article that has links to all of these toys that you can purchase in your own. So I make it really easy for you. So you can just head down below my description and click on the blog and read through. And if you haven't, go check out my zero to three 
three to six and six to nine months favorites. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, I think it's time for me to hang with Callie a little bit. Callie, say bye-bye.